Hi, this is Shweb. Welcome back. In this video, I will be explaining you about optional class, which is introduced in Java 8. So this optional class, it's public final class and it is used to deal with null pointer exception. For all details, you can go through docs.oracle.com in that you will find all the details related to optional class. This was not there prior to Java 8. It provides all these modifiers and types, static methods and all details you will find here. So the main use of this optional class is it will check for null. Okay, if, if the value is present, it provides a method called is present. The value is present, it will return true. And if the value is not present, it will return false. So let's start now with a simple example. I have a simple class here, optional demo. So in that class in main method, I have a string, okay, with seven values. Okay, I can add a number of values here. So I'm just valuing. So there's a different procedure to add values in string. I can't directly add here in floor braces like we do in usual arrays. So I am just assigning some values here. Value of values of zero is AA. This is DD and CC E is LL. Okay. So here we go. I have just commented out this value three equals to EE. I just want to show you like what happens if I uncommented. Okay. So this is a class optional. This this was this is introduced in Java eight. So in this this optional class provide a method called of null label. All right. So here I am passing this value of three. Value of three is not there. So I'm checking here if new class, this is my new class, which returns me optional dot of null label value of three. If new class is present, it's check for null, not null. Okay, all right. So if, if the value is present, just change that value of 3 to uppercase print it for me else i want to display this message there is no such value present so let me run this first com by commenting out if you see here value of 3 is not present so it's not throwing me any null pointer exception okay earlier you know we can't deal with using if and else conditions so if i uncomment it, it here so now let me run this for you. If you observe here, it will return the two uppercase, it will run. So this is how optional class works. So it provides a number of methods and you know, it provides different APIs. For details, you can go through this. Thank you for watching.